what I'm talking about, babe. Yeah. Uh. Now it's time for me to. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So. I was like, what am I going to tell y'all today? I don't know. I want to do... Uh, I, I, I don't know. I'm going to figure it out, though. So, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, subscribe, like the video, and leave a comment down below. I always reply back to your comments. Um, I don't... I Y'all, I'm just... It's Monday. It's the start of the week. So, we're just going to get right into this. If you haven't already gotten your drink, gotten your snack, get your herbal essence, get all your stuff and come back and we gonna get right into the video. Period, 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 period. <laughs> Let's talk about Kim. And not Kim, my subscriber Kim, cause she was in the comments talking about my name is Kim and I'm a Scorpio. That's my boo, we not talking about you. <laughs> It's it's crazy because I'm like, do I want to change the girl name? But then I'm like, then they gonna be like, well, what what happened to the story with her? Okay, we finna talk about her. So I made a video and I was telling y'all about the supervisor from Hell. I'm finna tell y'all about the character Kim that's in the story. So let's talk about her. Oh my butt, y'all. Hold on. Okay. Who child? Lord, I'm over here hurting. Y'all don't even know I'm hurting right now. I don't, if you watch the live, you know why I'm hurting. Okay, let's continue on. Um, I had a coworker and we was kind of, we were really close, but she was really close to our supervisor. And I don't remember what I call, I think I call my supervisor Shirley. I think that's what I call Cheryl. I don't know, I think I call it Cheryl before she got close to the supervisor before the supervisor even transferred to our to to where we work our hospital she was close with me and a few other people but like i said she could be friends with anybody anybody she knew people on other floors other departments i'm like how did she know them because we work at our time of that we work like we work second shift so i'm like how she know these people these people work day shift so i was like i don't know but anyway Let's get into like the antics. She would, okay, so Cheryl, I'm not Cheryl, Kim, this is all about her. Kim was messy dog. She was messy, she was messy. I said messy dog, she was messy. She was messy. She knew all everybody business, everybody, anything that was going on, who sleeping with who, who doing what with who. She knew everything. I don't even know these people because you know, like I stay in my lane. I don't, I don't, I came to work I deal with my coworkers that work in my department and you know, I had my little stuff on the side that I was doing. So I was like, I don't got time to be in everybody else's business or what they got going on. So she knew everything. So she would be over there talking about, do you know so-and-so sleeping with, what's her name in the, in the ER? And they girl came up here and they almost had a fight in the parking lot. And that, I'm like, what? She be knowing everything. So she be knowing everything. I don't even know these people. I'm like, who is these people? Who is this? Who is that? She like, she be coming down. She worked that this time. Da -da. When I met her, I was up on the thing doing a post on the second of second floor, and I saw her, and we got to talking. She's a very friendly, friendly person. So she's easily people, I guess, gravitate to her. She has a bubbly personality. She's funny. She she has a good personality. Uh, but and, but she's she knows everything and she gossips about everything. She know everything. So, okay. So she, so she started talking to this guy that worked. Oh, so let me, let me tell you. Okay. It was two guys that worked in our department. One was older. He was probably in his fifties. The other one was in his twenties. She was sleeping with both of them. Now, what, let me tell y'all the older guy, I, she hid the older guy from everybody. She told me way later she he told me first but i didn't believe him and then she confirmed it like months later i'm gonna tell y'all okay let me tell you about them first because i don't want to jump back to the young one. i'm gonna tell you about the older one okay so how it came about i'm not sure if if they was just like in a in a 
play because like we worked all close together all of us work close together so sometimes we'll be walking the floors together or we have to do a post together and then you get to know your co-workers you know you sit you talk about like kids life whatever you got going on like you know you just like a conversation y'all understand what i'm saying i don't know where it turned but somewhere it turned into them being sexually together so she said that that he would talk to her and be like you know i could take care of you this and the third but she was married so she was married right and she was going through like a separation type thing like her husband and her wasn't on the same page they was fighting arguing basically about to go through separation so she was already saying she was about to go she was leaving so i guess they got to talking about like they personal stuff and then he was just like you know i can take care of you i can do this that and the other so she told me that one day we got off and she was like you know i went to his house when i got off and i stayed over there and she i was like you stayed with him she was like yes she was like as soon as we got there like he pulled out the bottles we started drinking and she was like you know we did we did something so i'm like oh I was just surprised because I just was shocked. So she was like, yeah, we did something. She was like, at first I wasn't gonna do that. I was gonna let him just go down on me. But she said, I ended up just letting him just, we just did the whole thing. And I was like, I was, cause if you saw him, you'd be like, uh-uh, no, mm-mm, mm-mm. Let me tell y'all, he didn't have no teeth in his mouth, none. Like, y'all think I'm joking. Y'all think I'm being funny. I'm not being funny. He had, And she used to always make fun of that because she'd be like, when he kissed, she was like, when he kissed me, his whole tongue, like, it's like, because he don't have no teeth. She's like, it just goes directly in your mouth. It just, I was like, that made me just want to just gag. I said, that's disgusting. <laughs> She was like, he would kiss me. And I'd be like, I don't want to kiss. But she was like, he want to kiss. And she was like, he don't have no teeth. Like his top teeth was gone. So, and I don't know why. He didn't do drugs. He he didn't do anything. Like he can't do none of that stuff working with us anyway. So I don't know why he didn't have no teeth. I guess he just didn't care when he was younger about his teeth. And they just came out. I don't know. But he didn't have none. So she was just like, I'll kiss you if you put your teeth in your mouth, but I'm not kissing you without your teeth and that, that little whatever. So she was just like, you know, I told him he can do that to me, go down, cause he don't got no teeth. She's like, girl, so he, he, he good. But she was like, I, she said, he's a good person. He's just an alcoholic. She was like, she would tell me like, he drank. I'm like, what? She was like, soon as we get off, like he's drinking a soon, like a fifth, as soon as we get off. She was like, I told him I don't want to drink. I don't want to do that. She was like, she'd just be over there just chilling. Hold on, y'all. I had to fix myself because, y'all, I'm hurting so bad. Like, I got to I gotta get off this. I'm hurting so bad. <laughs> I fell, so I'm still in pain. <laughs> but, so she was like, she was like, you know, I'm going to take what I can use. But she was like, I ain't really like, he okay. But she was like, he too old. And at the time, we was in our 20s. <laughs> we was in our 20s. So she was like, he too old. He did that and the other. You know, I don't know about that. She was like, I just, you know, I deal with him a little bit here and there. But she was like, I ain't really trying to be with him or whatever. So she met this other guy, right? Everybody that she meet. And I used to be like, why do you be dip talking? Like, I don't got nothing against, like, people that don't look attractive but i just be like why you be talking to these dudes that ain't even like average looking they like way below average like if y'all seen the other dude too y'all be like what the hell he was short he was overweight he was i'm talking about short because um i'm five ten she was probably like five eight he was probably like five five he was short and she was talking to him but the thing about this like they were immediately just having sex all the time. They was having sex at the job. Like she would, they would leave because we worked our shift. We worked, we closed a lot of stuff down. So like a lot of the stuff that we opened during the daytime, when we come to work, we start closing it up, like locking doors, closing stuff down. Floors don't be open. So they would just go find a floor that nobody was on and they would go, in one of them rooms with the you know the bed and they would do they would have sex in them rooms and they would do it a lot 
with the short overweight guy. She would do it a lot with him. And it came to like um it came to like a situation where like so like she doing all this stuff, right? But she would still be like like I done got in trouble behind her doing stuff and saying stuff, saying the wrong stuff. Like I remember I don't know somebody had uh passed away on like they they took they self out of there like unalive they self we had a basement uh it we had a basement there and the person went on on the floor up so you know the basement below right they had a balcony because i'm trying to make it make sense they had a balcony you could look over down to the outside part of the basement they took they self and threw they self over the thing so it was a whole debacle because they, I was in the dispatch room and she was out there uh, with one of the supervisors and they was gossiping like I told y'all, they always do. They weren't even where they were supposed to be at. So then we all got pulled into the, to the office, to the principal's office and we got fussed at about all type of stuff. I didn't get fussed at because I was I was where I was supposed to be at, but she was getting fussed at and, and then she was saying, different stuff about people because it's like you know how you tell on somebody but you got to give them something so they won't but like that she would do that like oh so and so so and so was over there on this thing and she wasn't doing what she was supposed to do or he wasn't where he's supposed to be at i seen him over here i seen him talking to this person i seen him over he remember he was supposed to go on that call he didn't go on the call because he was talking to whatever this girl or whatever he was because a lot of them guys, you know, talk to women, whatever, nurses and stuff. They flirting with the nurse. They eating with the nurse. They leaving with the nurse. They doing what she doing. Fucking the nurses probably too. So she would do that. So we would always, everybody would always get into stuff behind her or whatever. But the thing with the two men, they started getting into it because eventually they found out that they both was sleeping with her. Now this girl is married to a whole person. She got the old dude and she got the young. The old, the older guy, he used to always vent to me about, like, talk to her. Talk to your friend. You talk to your friend. You know, I really care about her. She need to be with me. She going through all this stuff with her husband. She need, to, she need somebody to take care of her. You know, I can take care of her. I can take care of her kids. I can make sure she good. You need to talk to her. You need to tell her this. Telling me to tell her. I'm like, I ain't telling her nothing. I'm like, well, I'm going to tell her. She, I can't convince her. I don't know. She probably don't like you like that. I told him, maybe she just, because she married, maybe her mind is not on having nothing like that. She probably don't want to be with no man yet. She probably just want to do what she want to do. Even though she married to the person she married to and she's still doing whatever she want to do. He's like, I can't see how she messing with that scumbag boy, the the little young dude. She's like, I, he's like, I don't know how she messing with the little scum. He he ain't nothing. He he don't even have his stuff together. He don't got a car. He don't got he got a job, but he don't even got a car. He got to get rides from her. He probably just using her too. And I'm like, well, maybe y'all all using each other. That's what I'm like. Well, you, you want it for this. She ain't trying to do that. You know, she make her complaint. She's like, he drink too much and he don't have no teeth. She was like, everything else is fine. You know, his his stuff is okay. She was like, but the little young guy, you know, he good too. And she's like, it's more spontaneous because we could do it. We do it all over the place. That's what she told me. She's like, we do it everywhere. We do it here. And even though I knew she was doing that, I didn't say nothing because I didn't want to get put into that. I was like, I don't want. I don't want to get put into that. They find out I'm black. I ain't I'm an ex surprise too. I didn't even know she was doing it. But because you know, then they're gonna pull you in there, they're gonna start asking you all these questions. They're gonna be like, Why you didn't tell us when you found out first? Like, I don't got time for that. Like, that ain't my business. She wanna go get bent over on the second floor, then that's what she gonna do. I don't got time. But them two guys started getting into it and it started getting bad to where the older guy got the young guy fired. I don't remember exactly what happened, but Something had happened because he used to be in charge of us at times. The older guy he used to be in charge of us. Whenever he would know that them two was lost, I'm going to say lost. And y'all know where they was doing. They was lost somewhere. He would do his best to find them. He would be calling them over the radio. He would call them and call them. And then when he would find out where they are, he would separate them. That didn't stop nothing because she would go find him or he would go find her. They didn't listen to him. They didn't care about because he wasn't a supervisor. He was just somebody to tell us what to do. 
at times, you know, but he was just like us, same level as us. He didn't have no authority, only authority for the night, if you know what I'm saying. So they ended up getting into it about her, but they was making it about work, but it was really personal. And so he ended up telling the supervisors, like, he lazy. He don't do what he's supposed to do. He go off and hide. He not where he's supposed to be at. Um, I remember one time they was in the garage and they went to the car and had did it. Them two, them two went to the car and did it. Um, and then came back and act like, you know, she telling us, like, you know, telling that she went and did that too. He So he got the dude fired. She didn't care because she was just like, it is what it is. But she was just like, you know, I'm going to fall back from him. You know, the, old, the older guy, she was like, I'm going to just fall back from him. So she ended up, uh, man, this man was, this man would come to work drunk like the old man. He would come to work. You could smell the alcohol on him. He was drink like, I guess, because she was not trying to deal with him no more. So he just went through like some type of, uh, like going through the heartbreak but he wasn't handling it well because he was coming to work like that. So he would come to work drunk. They wouldn't say nothing to him because like I said, they, the supervisors would be like doing their own thing. So it wasn't like they was right up on him. The only way you knew that he was like that is if you was right by him and you could smell it on him. Like when he started talking to you, you could smell it on him and this and that. So she'd be like, he drunk. He did see that. He keep calling my phone. He keep begging me to be with him. He keep telling me one more time. Let me do one more time to you. I'm going to treat you right. Let me do this. Let me eat it. Let me do it. Like, you let him do it at work. Let me do it. Like, all this stuff. And, and they still worked together. Now, I guess what she had did was to end it with him because she said she ended it with him but she said she was he was like blowing up her phone calling her acting crazy or whatever but she was like i'm gonna switch to a whole different department she was like they're gonna open up this clinic she was like it ain't insane it's, i'm gonna go work for them so i'm gonna get out of here so i can get away from him so she ended up getting a job transferring and she got a job working at the clinic so she wasn't dealing with him no more so one day he had asked me he's like have you talked to her? Have you talked to Kim? Have you talked to her? I said, no. Um, well, I did talk to her. I talked to her, um, social media and stuff. I had talked to her. Um, but he was just like, can you please tell her to answer me when I call? I said, okay, I will. She told me, girl, I blocked him. He, he don't even know. He don't even know. Cause I guess, cause he older, he didn't realize, oh, you could block. So, uh, she was like, I blocked him. She was like, I don't want to deal with him no more. Like, she's like, he's an alcoholic. He, he, he do too much. She's like, he kept calling my phone. My husband seen it. He asked me, who is this person? I'm telling him it's my coworker. He's like, why you keep calling you like that? This and the other. And then she was like trying to clean up, clean it up. Like, I don't know, maybe some for work. So I told him, I'm like, you still be calling her? He's like, I called her a couple of times. But she don't answer the phone. I said, oh, okay. And then um, he was just like, you know, I care about her. I really do. I think she just need guidance. I think she needs some help. I'm like, you just need to leave her alone. She young. She doing a lot. She popping. Basically, she she doing a lot. I'm like, just leave her alone. So eventually, he left her alone. But she, I can't even, I have to think, like, when I think about some of the stuff that she did at the job, I'm going to make another video. I have to sit and think about it. And I also had to sit and talk to one of my, one of my, uh, one of my old coworkers. She like one of my real close good friends that we worked, we all worked together. So I'm going to ask her to tell me what she remembers. And then I'm going to make a story time. As soon as she tell me, I'm going to write it down and I'm going to tell y'all because she did a lot of stuff up there. She caused a lot of chaos. And in the mix of all of this, like when she was sleeping with that guy, the little young guy, she was with Shirley. Like, I think she knew that she was dealing with the, I don't think she knew about the older dude, but she for sure knew about the young guy because they would, she would let her run, run, roam freely and let him roam freely so that they could do whatever they want to do. And then I told you she would gossip with her. They'd talk and do this. But out of all of that, I never told, I never said nothing. Even when she was throwing me, like the Shirley lady was throwing me on the bus, I could have easily been like, you let Kim do whatever she want. I could have said all that, but I didn't. Cause you know, I was like, I don't want to be put in that 
that ain't my business. She would do what she want. But when you start, me and Shirley, that was that was us fighting each other. So I was like, she don't have nothing to do with it. Um, even though Kim would say like certain things and get me in trouble, that's why I gotta remember what it was. She would get me in trouble. I still would be like, I'm not gonna tell on her because that ain't my place to tell nothing. If they find out, they find out and I'm gonna act like I don't know nothing. But she was sleeping with both of them men. They and they found out and it was it was like war. Like I'm finna show you that I got the power and the older guy had the power because he got to do fight. Um I don't remember what he did. You know what? I think that he was, uh, I'm trying to remember what did, what he do. I know they was fighting over her, but he did something. And then that just catapulted. Is that the word? That just made like a, that just made it easier for him to get rid of, if you know what I'm saying. I just can't remember what it was. I don't remember. He wasn't a good dude either. He was, he wasn't good. He was really, he wasn't a good person. But neither, I mean, she, to be honest, the old dude wasn't a good person at times. He's, a, he's okay, but he was slick. You know, sneaky, slick, slimy. He was he was one of them. Uh, and she was just as slick and slimy too. That's probably why all three of them was together. <laughs> but anyway, if y'all liked the video, if y'all kept up with what I was saying, y'all wasn't going in circles and be like, what, what? Then you understand what I'm saying. But I'm going to find out and I'm going to, I'm going to make another video to this video. So, um, until then, you guys, I'll, I'll catch y'all in another video. I love you guys. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Comment. And let me know if you ever was in some type of or witnessed some type of debacle at your job. You know, people be fucking everybody at their jobs. I swear, it don't matter where you work. They smashing, everybody smashing everybody, everybody doing somebody, unless you work in a predominantly same sex field, like if it's all male, but don't let it be a trickle of females because they gonna come, because I work like that and they come. Or if you work in an all feminine, female environment and you got a trickle of men, the all of, and if he ain't married and he not a faithful dude, somebody smashing him, I'm just saying, it's, it's happening. So let me know what y'all think. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in my next upload. Thank you guys for the thank you for the support. The new people that subscribe. I appreciate y'all and I catch you. Bye.